This is an exciting time for our country. Earlier this week, more than 120 million people voted for a new president and Congress, one of the largest turnouts in the history of the country. No matter how we cast our ballots, this election gives us all reason to be proud of our democracy and our country. And I hope you will join Laura and me in congratulating President-elect Obama and wishing him the very best for his family and our country. Just before uh, our inauguration in 2001, Laura and I went back to Midland, Texas. She was born there and I was raised there. I said that Laura and I would never quite settle in Washington. I told them, while the honor is great, the work is temporary. This is true for many of us here today. This peaceful transfer of power is one of the hallmarks of a true democracy and ensuring that this transition as, as smooth as possible is a priority for the rest of my presidency. We face economic challenges that will not pause to let a new president settle in. This will also be America's first wartime presidential transition in four decades. We're in a struggle against violent extremists determined to attack us. And they would like nothing more than to exploit this period of change to harm the American people. So over the next 75 days, all of us must ensure that the next president and his team can hit the ground running. For more than a year now, departments and agencies throughout the federal government have been preparing for a smooth transition. We provided intelligence briefings to the president-elect and the Department of Justice has approved security clearances for members of his transition team. In the coming weeks, we will ask administration officials to brief the Obama team on ongoing policy issues, ranging from the financial markets to the war in Iraq. I look forward to discussing those issues with the President-elect early next week.